On Monday, April 8th, the moon's shadow will cross the United States, causing a total solar eclipse. The path of totality will cross through parts of Texas, Arkansas, Missouri, Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, New York, Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine. Everywhere outside this narrow path will experience a partial solar eclipse. Here in Bridgeport, the partial eclipse will begin at 2.12 in the afternoon. Gradually, more of the sun will be covered by the moon. During maximum eclipse at 3.27, about 90% of the sun's disk will be covered. The moon will then recede, leaving the sun's disk at 4.37 p.m. Here in Connecticut, the sky will not get dark. Because some of the sun will be exposed, the eclipse will not be safe to look at directly. However, the sun will not be any brighter or more harmful than usual, and outdoor activities should not be avoided. To view the partial solar eclipse, special eclipse glasses can be used. Through eclipse glasses, the sun can be viewed directly. Everything other than the sun's disk will appear completely black. Pinhole projectors can also be used to project images of the crescent sun onto a piece of paper or other light surface. Do not look at the sun directly through a pinhole projector. Telescopes and binoculars can also be used using protective filters. To see the total solar eclipse, you must travel into the path of totality. For up to four and a half minutes, the moon will cover the entire sun. During totality, the eclipse will be safe to view directly. The sky will dim to a deep twilight, and the planets and brightest stars will become visible. The sun's outer atmosphere, the corona, will be seen surrounding the dark disk of the moon. Eruptions of pink plasma, called prominences, could be visible, and a 360-degree sunset will surround you. You must be within the path to see this. Even a 99% partial eclipse will not experience totality. Current weather forecasts are favoring clear skies in the northeast. Keep in mind this could change before eclipse day. If you decide to travel to totality, plan to arrive early and leave late. Traffic will be heaviest immediately after the eclipse ends. Our next chance to see totality in the United States won't be for another 21 years, so you won't want to miss it. Good luck in clear skies.